Outstanding! Look at that! Cast members ooh and ah at the sight of their set. This is amazing! That was my thought. A small community theater from the shore of Lake Superior is making history by staging Fences, 60 miles south in Duluth, with an all-black cast directed by Paul Diener. Fences is about an American family, a black American family, 1957 Pittsburgh. And because of the demographics where our theater is based, uh, we could not fill a cast like this. We had to come to Duluth Superior to field a cast of color. I love this cast. This is the first time that I've ever been in a completely black cast ever. Is on the clothes on the clothesline with the basket on the stool. The stool is this white thing. We don't really have that design in our theater company to reach into uh, the Duluth market, and frankly, it's a lot of work to uh, build a set up north in Silver Bay, pack it up, truck it down here, and then start moving it north. I've never been to Silver Bay ever, so I, I have no idea. I'm hoping that it's just as hopefully. Um, receptive to the audience and kind of encouraged yep. <laughs> like it is has been within the Duluth community because people are so excited to see it. At our community theater, we don't necessarily have a long range plan, we go on inspiration. Uh, and this inspiration came knocking at the door in December 2016, literally seeing the movie for me. And it was at that point, the, the imagination started to go, and I thought, maybe I should direct this. So I was getting a tap. Obviously, there are a lot of issues here in this play, but it wasn't necessarily a diversity driving issue or a color issue necessarily. I mean, it's obviously there, but it's the, the entire work of art. It's a great work of art. All right, let's, uh, let's get going. First of all, we've got two stage veterans, and essentially five rookies. And the rookies are wonderful. King of the jungle. I don't know if this is Paul's first experience working with a room full of black people, but uh, he, he does it really well. Paul is such a passionate individual. He's so silly. Like, he's just, I don't know. There's so many words. Do your best to stay on your focus, because you got costume changes, you got to be on. You can't have us reminding you and Benny reminding you, this is your show now. You got to step up and be aware of what scene we're doing. As a ringleader, I think he's a perfect guy for the job. He knows how to make jokes to keep things light. And uh, he knows how to give direction without seeing, being over, over the top. So I think Paul was perfect for this, for this job. Biggest thing is lines, okay? We get that. I think you got a good show here. A couple of them uh, cut me no slack. They have a good time uh, reminding me of something I should be aware of or whatever. Um, but uh, th that's, that's been a joy. I must say, a uh, wonderful opportunity for me to establish friendships with people of color that I don't live in my uh, immediate neighborhood with. And that's been fabulous. Gabriel and Bono, you're ready. You know where your props are. Got to use them. Fumble with them. I'm not bound by necessarily the limitations of living in a small community up in the woods, uh, away from, let's say, bigger demographic culture, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm not afraid, and I have the confidence. All right, Kyla, any time. And I'm not a man of color, but I'm connecting with the humor of the play, especially Act One, Scene One. You know, it starts out with, it's, it's Friday night after work. Let's pass around a bottle, let's talk. Let's get it out. Let's get down on some information and laughter and jokes. It is funny, it starts out real funny. Yeah, that's August Wilson. And he just draws you in and it gets more serious and serious. This is the all the first all black cast within the Northland and it's about time. It's 2018 and this needs to continue happening.
And this is just a story of a family that go struggles like any other family, but this is a family of color that has never been kind of expressed in this way ever in Duluth and in the Northland. So I think it's so, so, so incredibly important that this is being showcased now. We didn't, we're not doing this play because, gee, it's never been done before, let's do it. It's a great work of art, and the cast is down here. But then when you, you start getting into it, you realize there, there is a pretty big hole in the market for this kind of experience. Whether it can happen or sustain, I don't know. I think he's an amazing individual, and I'm so glad that he took on this project and kind of hopefully lead the way to more productions like this in the future. It's an all-in proposition. It's, it's the big why that we all go through in our lives, the big why. And how, how high or how far do you want to reach into your soul and into life, and that's a connection. Um, you have to, re you have to.